recap on what we are going to talk about in our next session. Now, this is a really important session because everybody's talking about what COVID-19 is going to do to marketing in overall marketing in content marketing. What are these times going to change? Right. And this is a fireside chat where we're going to talk what about how Amul continues to maintain brand salience. And we have with us Dr. Rupinder Singh, who is the managing director of Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation Limited, which is Amul, which is India's largest fast food products, which is India's largest food products organization with annual turnover of more than 38,550 crores during 2019-20. Dr. Sodhi has 38 years of rich experience in leading and developing cooperative sector within Indian dairy industry. He has been responsible for creating the current structure of the Amul, enabling the organization to maintain and enhance its leadership status with Indian dairy industry. He's also the member of unions of key CMMF, which are procuring 25 million liters of milk per day from more than 18,600 village dairy cooperative societies. For more than three decades, Dr. Sodhi has worked under direct guidance and mentorship of father of white revolution, Dr. Vergis Kurian, and has ensured that values cherished by Dr. Kurian, such as integrity, dedication, courage, honesty, commitment to farmers and to consumers remain deeply ingrained in the culture of Amul. Dr. Sodhi has obtained his Bachelor in Agriculture degree from CTAE, Udaipur, India, and he is first batch alumnus from the Institute of Rural Management, Anand. So a very, very warm welcome to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Khyatri. Thank you very much. And uh, doing this fireside chat is the chairman and editor-in-chief of Exchange for Media, Dr. Anurag Batra. I guess Dr. Anurag is just joining us, sir. So if you don't mind with your permission, Mr. Suri, uh, can I just talk to the audience and get some reactions from them? Yes, definitely, definitely. I'd love to hear get some of the questions in the beginning and then fireside chat. Oh, brilliant. So thank you, <laughs> Dr. Sodhi. If you have any questions, particularly for him about marketing during these COVID times, shoot it right now in our Q&A box uh, and in the chat. Tell us how excited you are. We've been hearing some of great leaders uh, of the industry talking about content marketing during COVID-19 and what is uh, the future of it post-COVID. So it will be great to see all of you uh, putting in your questions here. So we've already started getting questions, Dr. Sodhi, which um, Kritika Ganatra says, Amul has always been a relevant and topical brand. How is marketing in the current scenario different for Amul? Well, uh, uh, let me tell to Kritika, you see, marketing or branding or brand building, it's, it, it does not change with the time. If the two days left, I mean, two days COVID, tomorrow is the floods or earthquake, because it's a long-term exercise building brand. Definitely, the, when you talk about sales and distribution, there one has to do a lot of changes. And yeah. that we have done because when uh, lockdown is there, shops are not opening, modern trade not opening, first few days, uh, e-commerce not working. So one has to make a lot of changes and uh, adjustment. But yeah. marketing does not stop, what I feel. Because uh, uh, it's a continuous exercise. And already we are doing building brand what is today is already 72 years. And uh, we are connected with our uh, millions of for the three generations. So we can't stop uh, our marketing when you, he is in distress or we are in difficulty. You have to continue. And when you are in difficulty, then it is more than important that you should uh, do your uh, communication with her or him. Absolutely. So, sir, I'm going to leave the screen as Dr. Anurag Batra has joined us. So we will begin the fireside chat with... Dr. Batra and Dr. Sodhi online. Mr. Sodhi, good afternoon, Mr. Sodhi. Dr. Sodhi, good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Last time we met at the IIC in Delhi, you were here for a meeting. That's when I yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, the reason yeah, yeah, yeah. Dr. Sodhi, why it's called Fireside, 
You are literally in Delhi, yeah. where you are in Nanan. There is fire. It's so hot that it's literally though I'm in an air-conditioned room. It is literally a fireside chat. But welcome to the Exchange for Media Conversations. Uh, today we have Mr. Sodi, Mr. R. S. Sodi, who is the managing director and CEO of Amul. He doesn't really need an introduction. Amul, as a brand, doesn't really need an introduction. And let me start by asking Mr. Sodi, you're one of those brands that instead of bringing its advertising down, you actually increase your advertising. Your brand is more visible. It is being consumed more. Uh, it's in some way brings cheer. Uh, you know, it shows hope, optimism. Tell us uh, what made you go down the bus. In the last two months, uh, Amul is the most visible brand on television. Well, Anuragi, let me tell you, you see, like before you joined us, I was uh, answering the question of preparing that uh, what changes we have done in marketing. So from that, I take it and then uh, start with you. You see, when you talk about uh, branding, you see, or advertising, you see, it's like building your asset. And advertising is one way of communicating. You see, Amul has got a consumer which are with us for lost more than 70 years. So it's a three generation of consumer with us. And we have been communicating with them. And now today, if you the last two months, there's a lockdown. They are in distress because they weren't knowing what is going to happen, whether they will get our food or not, whether we'll get our milk, whether butter will be available in the market or not. That if that time you stop communicating, it means you are not, they are not your family member. You say they are with you from the three generations, and suddenly when they are in problem, you want to disassociate with them. So, firstly, that thing was there. Second is you say in this lockdown. Uh, instead of using any marketing logic, huh? we you very uncommonly use common sense. Let me tell you, because I saw at my home four generations: my father, my daughters, my uh, and granddaughter Myra, and myself. We all sitting in front of TV watching the same thing which was not possible in the normal law. So yeah. first thing we did is why not? So we thought, I mean, everybody is watching TV and that too, especially the news. So why not uh, put more money? So we said, let us double the budget, but get a good deal. So that was the one thing. Second, when we saw, we got this opportunity from SCB Urkan Lodstar that uh, uh, Durdashan is coming with the Ramayan and uh, Mahabharat epic, those legacy series. So that time we thought, I think it is a good sense because these episodes were uh, when 40 years back or 30 years back, it has got some nostalgic value and it's a family win. So we said, let us invest in, and I think let me tell you, investment in Ramayan or Mahabharat was like a, a lottery year, lottery to us. I mean, if we tell you, we got the jackpot in your simple advertising language. What we invested, if you would have invested in normal time, at this time, we got 100x benefit. So, and moreover, our product was also available on the ground. So we got a dual benefit, brand building with uh, a very, very small uh, portion of the expense and also the availability of product, the consumer could connect with it. Fantastic. I'm getting a lot of comments, seven questions, four comments. Uh, some are saying the man is about positivity. Mr. Sodi exemplifies that, and so is the brand Amul. Uh, and pe people are reminiscing about your advertising and seeing it in Ramayan and Mahabharat uh, breaks. Uh, coming to you, now supply chain, you talked about that you had a double positivity that your products and services were available uh, in in the places it should have been, and uh, there were consumers for it. Now, what do brands uh, who have been shut down for no reason of theirs, their category has been closed, what is your advice to them? 
what should they do as the lockdown hopefully in the next 15 days uh, will go away and we'll start living in a post covid world what should brands that were inactive in the last 60 days do now you see uh, anurag ji let me tell you talking about the branding and other thing communication first thing i'll advise don't stop communication i love Please that keep communicating you see people generally say when your product is not available on the ground or shops or no why to advertise why to advertise my car why to advertise my ac when its product is not available she or he cannot go and buy the product let me tell you when you advertise you are not doing sales pitch it's a brand building you want relationship building yeah as a community you know, yeah, yeah. are using it in the first yeah, yeah yeah see second thing is consumer also understand that i want to buy a car i want to buy ac but it is not available it's not the manufacturer for or the company it's because of general conditions so he will better he will more sympathize with the brand that this brand is for me because he it this brand has taken a certain idea I mean, you can plan which car to buy during lockdown all it's not a impulse buying buying ac is not a in, impulse buying i mean if you i mean that is a thing and uh, if you are available like we were available the best thing so what i say even if your product is not available please keep communicate there is a long term asset building like you build your house so sure. you or like you want to buy shares you want to buy when market is minimum when market is going up to the bottom so that was the best time to invest in the brand when cost of communication is the cheapest so uh, do we see amul launching new products uh, post covid and if yes well, you have a very large portfolio of food products you know you care to almost you know you have products for every need so to say but do we see amul launching new products post covid uh, uh, are there new launches on the annual in the next two to three months no uh, anuragi during covid also uh, we already launched because everybody was talking about immunity so we launched this uh, haldi people are talking so we launched haldi dood now we are coming out with the tulsi dood then we are coming out with the adrak or the ginger milk all these things already there But let me tell as, you, as, are, health, uh, as health and immunity become important. Yes. So what we feel is in the coming time, demand for branded, superior, more towards natural, affordable, and trustworthy brand is going to increase. Beautifully said. Simply said. Yeah, yeah. So whenever a time is good for the any brand. to come up because people now going to shift from unbranded loose unpacked to the branded right because of the safety and other issues so this is the best time if you are in the food to launch your product whether in a city or in a state anywhere you want to because there is a gap in the market and demand is going to be increased fantastic you know by the way mr sodia you know it but for the benefit of all viewers in america in starbucks the number one uh, selling milk uh, beverage would was what they call a golden latte which is nothing else but a you know turmeric latte you know haldi dood which is has medicinal and uh, qualities and it boosts your immunity so how amul has found its sweet spot in launching products that are relevant to this time and hopefully their consumption will grow and added to increasing the community uh, outreach and also the immunity of people so really i hope more brands and businesses think like amul coming uh, you talked about how the ecosystem is your family how the stakeholders is your family it's not a business you know you don't leave them right you talked about right up front now uh, a lot of uh, media professionals are locked in what is your and a lot of agency senior executives are locked in what is your advice to agency executives as they've dealt with the covid in the last 60 days uh media consumption has grown but the pattern has changed so what's your advice to media owners uh, and what's your advice to agencies i am again commenting watch your family watch your children what are they saying what are they watch, watching 
what then think because sitting at home you have got lot of creative time to think instead of commuting or uh, sitting in the office and in the beating when you are at home with the family this is the best. but let me tell you during this covid period amon our agency was working i mean we during this two months we came out with a 12 what the topical which you people talk and six new tv commercial all during this six we launched no, during no, the no, no. yeah because that was the best time to launch although people are finding difficult to launch movies they are they are difficult to find the viewers but this was for any brand this was the best time to launch new tv commercial because you are going to get a very uh, wide range and then also our agencies with the association of facebook did live cooking shows i mean that you say that is another jackpot after that uh, 100x benefit in mahabharat or mahayan i mean if you if i give you some data i mean already we have done 400 live recipes where we have called the chef you see your big five star hotels restaurants famous and all over the world not only india uae canada usa singapore you name the country all are come the facebook corner recipes and every day i mean thought and every week we got 7.5 crore account viewership or accounts so total 34 crore and this is two and half time just listen to two and half time all the food and life stores channel put together whatever as per bar data data total viewership of all the lifestyle and food channel this facebook live recipe has given us two and half times viewership so and other we are other uh, i mean lot of other innovations we are doing in it i mean we'll be calling lot of other people whether michelin star chef suvir sarna is there on main chef of ruler of dubai where he'll be calling 100 international chef on 7th of june so you see sitting at home mean your consumer is not closing his eyes or ears he is over. rather he has got more time to consume media to consume your commercial to consume your branding so why not you do now fantastic now you know the amul during what amul has done during covid times is a case study i would say and there are a lot of learnings the three learnings that i can also get from talking to dr sodi is first is uh, see how the consumer is behaving your wife your child your parents they're all around you second is media consumption because we're spending more time with ourselves we're not traveling is going up so take an advantage of that you possibly get better deal. and the third thing he's saying is do not be transactional uh, do not be transactional in the way you are approaching uh, the outreach and the fourth is you know it's a cliche but it shows in dr sodi's case and in amul's case when the going gets stuff the tough going get going now really there is a lesson for all business owners entrepreneurs ceos in what amul is doing luckily it's in a category uh, that is being consumed uh, that's that's a given but to build on that takes ingenuity and thinking i want to come to another question that the audience is asking dr sodi that newspapers are being consumed still but a lot of consumption of newspapers some of it has shifted online on e newspapers or the websites of newspapers what is the role of newspapers you see in the new mix i know newspapers are in the business of news and not necessarily the paper uh, and you already talked about how news channel viewership has soared and hence amul is taking advantage of that so what do you see the role of newspaper and print magazines uh, going forward well uh, anuragi i definitely agree that uh, during this covid time especially the habit of newspaper has shifted from physical to the digital because it was not available but let me tell you physical newspaper is going to remain there there will be a section there will be people who are reading and we can't afford uh, ignoring newspaper no doubt there may be some shift we incidentally amul had already started advertising in newspaper also about a fortnight back although people no i don't see any other ad in the most of news per where our ads come and uh, second is you say one has to see that so 
news today we feel that newspaper is free but i don't think anything can be free for a longer time otherwise quality will be there if we want quality news quality paper whether we watch digitally or physically we have to pay for it and once we pay for it anything there is an opportunity to advertise and to the communicate to the reader so newspaper i mean people were saying before covid nobody is watching news but totally reverse has happened <laughs> yes that's a very important point dr sodi make and he you know he's walking the talk he is not saying things that which are theoretical he's saying things and he's looking at them in a little long term medium term perspective he's not looking at them only with the covid lens so i dare i say i also want to talk about for example who launched the turmeric milk right it's a new product uh, and you know immunity and well being have become top of mind and you already talked about how news channels viewership is growing now would you want for example an innovation of all the news anchors on all the news channel at the same time drinking the amul turmeric milk <laughs> that will be too Ever much do it, sir? please do <laughs> give to credit on that <laughs> because already on our dooth pizza india lot of jokes and memos have come <laughs> i mean i mean latest was that some some thief has entered somebody's house and the owner wanted to detect him he said aage aage badhta india na thief said amul dooth pizza india <laughs> so i mean uh, asking anchor to drink i mean that will be too much already <laughs> fantastic see uh, amul is also big on cricket but the ipl didn't happen this year right now if you save money from your cricket and ipl outreach uh, you would redeploy it some of it we can see in the last 60 days what else will amul do as a brand over the next 30 60 90 days where redeployment of this money will happen we already see it in tv so give us a sense a peek into what will amul plan in terms of media over the next 30 60 90 days well uh, anurag ji i mean as far as our uh, media changes we have we have observed last 3 4 years our spend on sports has been increasing every year we have decided that now either people are watching news or sports on i'm not talking about the general entertainment people are watching but number is reducing and with the ott coming lot of your movie fans are also shifting especially english to the ott so the, gradually we thought that sports is the best so in coming time sports will be the big bet for us we'll be spending more but if it happens so i don't think another 60 90 day whatever conditions are today any big event in sports can happen so let us wait when it happens definitely uh, everybody will be going out or watching the matches or ipl or the incidentally we have already started advertising on two of the international football series one is bundesliga and one italian football uh, already we have started it because their uh, matches are being played without the uh, viewers beautiful no you talk about otts and how content consumption digitally is going up you know now tell us uh, have you done some kind of research survey where you're seeing that uh, you're being on ott platform as you yourself said it's across three generation my kids consume it i consume it uh, your brand and my parents definitely consume it so you even in your advertising the uh, the role model are across the generations across uh, you know whatever the personalities can be tell us have you been able to do research that being on digital platforms has brought you a new audience uh, that has got exposed to amul advertising and hopefully amul as a product uh, that you got from covid times this is absolutely new yeah, yeah. I, i mean we have not launched any other big uh, new product but let me tell you uh digital uh, promotion and advertisement or talk whether twitter facebook anything we have seen uh, product like ice uh, sorry chocolates i mean during this month we are getting the record sale of chocolates even not happened during december january month when when chocolate consumption peak because everybody is talking 
that Amul dark chocolate are not less than even the world Swiss famous brands. So uh, that is getting viral. And uh, I was having a one to one uh, video chat with my about more than uh, 40, 45 uh, distributor across India in five sessions. So everybody says so we are surprised that during this COVID, there are certain products which we have never thought will sell a shopkeeper whom we were pushing three or four slabs of chocolate. The same shopkeeper is calling me phone, please send me all the 25 flavors of chocolate. We have got incidentally 25 flavors of chocolate. Same is in case of our uh, sweetened condensed milk. Shrikhan, it was only sold in mainly in uh, Gujarat or Maharashtra, a little part of Rajasthan. But now demand is coming from all over India. So I'm saying is that uh, it's there. As far as the research is concerned about the habits, I think we have a work in Bombay agencies. We have our reports and we decide what to do. So this is a, I would say this is a happy situation in a way. Very happy situation. And you know, I have eaten the Amul chocolate, not recently, but before and I, maybe I'll try it once again now. You know, you talked about consumption uptake. You talked about retailing product being available. Uh, with online uh, retailing growing, and what if I dare I say digital, how will online e-commerce or online uh, offtake of Amul products become a more important part in the uh, um, retail strategy of Amul? Give us a sense of that. Uh, Anuragi, online sale of Amul products or any food products is growing tremendously. Although base is small, I mean, uh, it used to be 2 or 3% of our total sale. Now, I can say there has been a 100% jump. I mean, whatever we lost in Oreka, you see, we got in, uh, more in our general trade and online. So, that is more than compensated. So, online is, uh, I mean, is the future where I think because especially in the bigger cities, people may not be there for more time. So online is a good solution and we are propagating, we are promoting and we are encouraging online. Fantastic. Fantastic. See, uh, everyone knows that Amul is a cooperative uh, and the Amul brand is owned by the cooperative. And, you know, you have championed the concept of a baradari, of a community, of a, you know, a larger family. But tell us mm -hmm. what you are doing to keep your family of uh, milk producers, I mean, people who supply the cooperatives, small cooperatives, who give you milk. What are you doing to look after them in COVID times? I know Kamul is doing a lot, so I would like you to tell our viewers what Amul as a cooperative is doing to help people on its supply side. Uh, you see, Anuragi, till now, we talk about consumer or advertising. See, in any business, there are supply chain partner or stakeholders. But when you talk about milk, our supply chain starts from 18,700 villages, mainly Gujarat, where 36 lakh farmers are our members. It starts, we call C2C, cow to consumer, or B2C, buffalo to consumer. So yes. first, so what we did is on 25th itself, which I said in the beginning is, Communicating. So first day is we communicated with all the supply chain partners, farmers, our all the transporters who are collecting milk from the villages, all our uh, drivers, all our processing units, labor workers, then all the truckers, all our distributors, all our uh, CNF agents, and no doubt our staff. That look here. Milk is an essential product. We have been exempted. We have to do our duty. Whatever. But it is not only your uh, rozgar or job. Now, here, nation demands you. Because during lockdown, food is very, very essential. Absolutely. If we do not provide food to Indians, there will be riots. So you have to come out. You have to take risks. 
you have to take extra effort you have to convince your family you have to convince your neighbor to come out and do your job for the nation so, so let me tell you what are you saying that the people who produce milk distribute milk are also also front line the warriors warriors you see we talk they about do this a lot of our families won't get the milk the food the things that go into our food uh, make our life better so to say especially when we are spending more time at home so sorry i interrupted you but i just wanted to make that point no anurag what i was saying that uh, uh, you just i mean we talk about uh, doctors paramedical the constable standing on the road because they have saved us they have done but imagine if there would not been food available and uh, i i give credit of this in this category various our farmers and also our retailer you see the shopkeeper next to your door he took risk coming in the mo- early morning unloading the milk delivery milk to the uh, consumer or to the society so they are the very otherwise nobody would have stayed at home everybody would come out in search of food and no price yeah. increase so there was no black market for granted but the fact is all this goes behind the you know so to say in in the supply chain for it to enable it to you know as he uses cow to consumer i would say farm to fork you know uh, for food it's a similar uh, analogy i want to go back to the role of news channel news channel the played a real role in bringing out whatever the truth is in terms of spread in terms of dissuading people uh, not to break the social distancing norms uh, give the accurate information on what should be done in covid now you yourself said that live sports and news have become very important for viewers and consumers right and you said that you news channel going forward uh, will amul uh, continue its spend on news channels grow its spend on news channel because uh, people continue to be glued to credible news channel uh, to get what they need to know about covid tell us amul and news channels that's you know how how has been that relationship see news is always news news is always in news so we have been now spending when i say news channel means not only national hindi or english channel also regional channels and also international channels because there are views for everything and no doubt uh, what percentage will for news or gc or sports it may change time to time but you cannot ignore news channel the importance of news everybody is realize i think uh, after a long time all the news channel all people will be also slightly happy because they are getting some better return i mean they in earlier times all the travel or tour and other people were happy now news channel people may be slightly more happy because they are now getting lot of uh, advertising money beautiful so you know one thing on dr sodi is he's being real he's saying what he's doing it's not theoretical he's kind of walking the talk i want to ask my last question about advertising marketing and then ask you two quick uh, personal questions my last question is you, in your brand ambassador is the amul girl uh, uh, she's been there for the life that i have lived yeah, yeah. 54 years she will be there eternal uh, tell us uh, would you like to do a contest where all the young girls dress as an amul girl and come up with witty ideas and slogans these people are at home they do new things and india has got talent so do you think that's an idea we'll see happening soon again yeah anurag ji very good idea i mean sitting at home you come out with the amul girl some latest witty topical or some line it's a good idea i mean i mean let me tell you we get lot of such ideas and any of these ideas come we forward to rahul dakuna because we don't decide the content we we'll see when you see it so only if you like you have given me i to do those you know the messaging on the next day when other big news you know it is so it is done uh, so beautifully and so wittily and it's done brevity is the soul of wit it is really it has brevity it is really it packs a lot in uh, few words i remember dakuna you uh, used to do it uh, who's your, who does those slogans now i know uh, 
Mr. Mr. Silvestre Dacuna, son Raul Dacuna and his team. Yes. Congratulations to Raul Dacuna and his team. My two personal questions. Every leader, whether a CEO, whether an entrepreneur, has uh, seen a world that is literally VUCA. It's volatile, uncertain, complex, and ambiguous. What are the leadership qualities that it has really enhanced? And the second question is, what is your favorite line? When you talk to your colleagues, your partners in the agency ecosystem, what is that Sodhi Saab says to them, you know, that keeps them motivated? Uh, so one, what are the things that you discovered about yourself that you did not discover before COVID? And second, what is your favorite line of saying that you say to everyone? Well, I think what people, what I say more, I don't know. You have to ask my marketing and advertising and CT. But I feel uh, generally as a team, you always, let's do it. Let's try it. I mean, Beautiful. only yeah. by doing we'll know what works and what doesn't. Huh? And action I mean, matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you keep talking, discussing, arguing, doing lot of, I, I'm sorry, lot of research, by that time, <laughs> there'll be 10 people against and So, I mean, the more, uh, I mean, what I, I mean, I, I, I'm launching new product. I mean, Dr. Korean, you see his uh, pic there. I mean, he, he used to say, why you want to do market research to launch a new dairy of food product? Hmm? You give it to your wife, I'll give it to my wife. If we both lo love it or like it, we, we shall launch it. Yeah, absolutely. David Ogilvy said your wife is not a monon, she is a consumer. So clearly neither your or my or my uh, you, you, you see, Alwaki, let me add you here. I get a lot of ideas sitting on the dining table with my family, with my wife, with my daughter, my granddaughter. You're the consumer. You're consumer. Yeah, yeah. Authentic. Uh, and they will give suggestions without any hesitation. But they may not be like, because your colleagues may hesitate. The boss will like it or not. They but say what they have to say, have, what is real. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I think observing your family, I'm talking, you said, what, what I say is, you have, one has to be very near to the reality. Observe people around. Please try to understand the pulse of your consumer. Beautiful. And do, and use common sense. And do it honestly. I think yeah, that's yeah. the secret of Dr. Sodi's success, Amul's success. Uh, uh, talking to Dr. Sodi has been a pleasure. We have nine not questions and eight comments. Uh, I have asked them in some way or the other. So on behalf of Exchange for Media, uh, I would like to thank Dr. Sodi for keeping the advertising marketing media ecosystem rejuvenated and showing the benefits of brand building during these COVID times. What you invest today will possibly get you more return than it ever will and build your relationships with your consumer. So follow Dr. Sodi's example uh, and you will be a better leader and your organization will be a better enterprise. Thank you, Dr. Sodi. We wish you luck. You're a great example of, you know, storms don't last, dreams don't perish. Uh, we wish you luck and we look forward to consuming your products. And next time I meet you, hopefully I'll uh, take some mammal chocolates from you. Uh, I, I am sure you carry them in your bag. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Naraki. Thank you, Exchange for Media, for the giving. It's always a pleasure talking to you. And, you know, you're very authentic, very real, and uh, very humble. You run a, you, you have a very big job. You carry it very lightly. I think uh, all, all our viewers know that Amul has the same agencies that they've partnered for many, many years. In fact, I know of people who started as an account executive and have become yeah, yeah. old, and they still... You know, Amul is their favorite account. You know who I'm referring to. So, <laughs> thank, you. Sina and Nitin <laughs> yes. thank you so much. God bless you. I'll see you another time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sodhi and Dr. Batra, for that very fierce, fiery fireside chat. I think this was the and most. Thank you, Kathy, all over to you.